In October last year, Shopee Singapore sent a letter to its ex-employee Mr. Lin Tech Yong in an attempt to forbid him from working for competitor company ByteDance. Mr. Lim did not comply, prompting Shopee to sue him. However, the e-commerce firm did not eventually win the case. Its claims were dismissed in a judgment yesterday January 31st and termed very weak by Justice Quack Min Luck. According to the judgment text for the case between Mr. Lim Tech Yong and Shopee, Mr. Lim first joined Shopee Singapore in August 2015 as the head of HQ's regional operations. Shopee operates in several markets, such as Southeast Asia, Taiwan, and Brazil. In particular, the RCA that he endorsed stated that if he were to leave the company, he was not allowed to seek or accept jobs with a competitor for at least 12 months. During his time at Shopee, he subsequently undertook more roles such as head of Shopee's regional people team and senior director of HQ's regional operations. In May 2023, Mr. Lim resigned. In September the same year, he joined internet technology company ByteDance, which owns TikTok and TikTok Shop. At ByteDance, he took on the role as leader of TikTok Shop's governance and experience team. Upon learning about Mr. Lim's new employment at ByteDance, the e-commerce firm sent him a letter on October 6, 2023 claiming that he had breached the non-competition restriction stated in the RCA. The letter warned Mr. Lim to resign from ByteDance with immediate effect. In addition, it demanded him to provide undertakings to comply with the RCA and ECA. Mr. Lim, however, did not adhere to the aforementioned terms. This prompted Shopee to take him to court. In court, Shopee was represented by lawyers Mr. Clarence Ding Siliang and Ms. Arian Kia Tong from JWS Asia Law Corporation. Amongst the claims they laid out was their contention that Mr. Lim's job scopes at both Shopee and ByteDance had substantially similar overlaps. They also claimed that Mr. Lim had obtained confidential information when he participated in Shopee's meetings, where they would discuss the company's involvement in all markets. In response, Mr. Lim denied Shopee's allegations. He was represented by Mr. Tam Wei Chen and Ms. Karis Wang from Fullerton Law Chambers. He asserted that he did not breach the non-competition restriction stated in the RCA. According to him, the geographical scope of both jobs did not overlap. He highlighted that he was in Brazil during the last 12 months of his employment with Shopee. During this period, he was involved solely in the Brazil market. Moreover, his responsibilities for both roles were different. At Shopee Brazil, he was engaged in tasks such as handling payment, fraud and warehousing. These were not within the job scope of his new role at TikTok Shop. Terming Shopee's case very weak, Justice Quack eventually dismissed them. In particular, he suggested that Shopee's claim would be unfair to Mr. Lim's future employment plans as it would mean that he cannot be employed in all markets in which Shopee is operating. Moreover, Justice Quack also added that Mr. Lim had already provided undertakings when he signed the RCA back in 2015. Thus, Mr. Lim was not risking any breaches by refusing to provide the undertakings demanded in Shopee's letter. Eventually, he maintained that Shopee has failed to prove the worthiness of trying their claims. Notably, he declared, I have serious doubts that it could be said that there is a serious question if this would be regarded as reasonable as between the parties or reasonable in the interests of the public. Both sides have been requested to file submissions on costs.